We're in Jeremiah 37, left in off, leaving off at verse 17 here. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out. And the king asked him secretly in his house and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is. For he said, He said, He, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, what I have offended against thee, or against thy servants, or against this people that ye have put me in prison? Where, where are now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall, shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray thee, O my lord, the king, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me to return to the house of Jonathan. The scribe, lest I die there. So Jonathan is in prison right now. Or he's worse in the prison. He's in a dungeon. Okay? For for no reason, apparently. He didn't do nothing. He all he did was pretty much talk about God and he got he got a dungeon. And um uh, Zedekiah is trying to get him to you know trying to find some dirt on him. And he's saying, you know, why, why am I even, why you even put me in here? I didn't do nothing, you know. He's saying you're a sucker, Zedekiah. Guess what? <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar is coming very soon. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar is another king. You didn't know that. And I think in Nebuchadnezzar, God might use Nebuchadnezzar to to off Zedekiah, the other king. So. We'll see what happens. Um, the last verse here, 21. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, and that they should give him a daily piece of bread out of the baker's street until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus Jeremiah re remained in the court of the prison. So he's locked up in, 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 I guess, a regular prison now instead of a dungeon. So it sounds like. But we have to find out in chapter 38 if he gets out. I think he'll get out because um, I, I, I predict that Jeremiah will overcome like Joseph somehow. So that's my prediction. But we don't know until we re re read further on here. Um... It's a it's a it's a lesson for all of us because um, if you look at the if you look at the apostles the first the first twelve the first thirteen apostles of Jesus Christ they were all some of them were put in prison some of them were, some of them were were tortured okay beyond measures just like Christ was tortured our Master our God was tortured as well they might they might end up doing the same thing to to people that believe in the faith. We see that already in other parts of the world. Not not so much here yet, you know, um in our neck of the woods, but we've seen that like, you know, all over the world where um even places like Russia or China or Nigeria, Somalia you know, um, those places of the world, you see, you see Muslims uh, killing Christians and torturing them and hacking them to death. Um, so it's something that if we have to die for, we have to be ready and prepared for it. We might be tortured for this. You understand that you take upon this the real, the real authentic faith of Christianity, Yeshua. You might, you might, there's something might happen to you that's not good, okay? Just know it, it is. But it's worth it. In the end, it says to be absent with him in the body is to be, is to be present with him in the spirit. So, that's the word of God here in, in, in the scriptures. And we're not really supposed to live that long in this body. You, you think about it, it would just be here temporarily. But forever in the spirit, that's forever in the spirit. So that wraps it up for um, 37 um, here. Uh, and we'll do 38 another day. Alright? God bless y'all. Hope y'all have a... Have a... Uh, ha have learned something from me reading the scriptures to you. 
Um, I know I learned something about God. Every time I, I dig into the scriptures, I learn something. But um, until the next episode, you guys have a have a, another God blessed one, right? Thank you, y'all. Soshi, I'm out. Your host.